Welcome to BitBoy Crypto. Uh, my name is Ben. I'm coming to you live from my closet. Why, why am I coming to you live from my closet? Why do I have Bitcoins in my closet? Uh, because I'm coming out of the closet, guys. There's a Bitcoin bolt today. That's why. So we're going to walk out of the closet. See? Look at this. But the light's no good, so we're going back in the closet. Look, here's the thing. Let's talk about Bitcoin, guys. Uh, so John Deaton, he has no John Deaton. That's my guy. Love John Deaton. Um, he is, uh, you know, obviously one of the leaders of the XRP army. Uh, he is an attorney who has basically put out a lot of information on the XRP case. Well, he was actually making a comment about something else, not necessarily having, these are zeros and ones. Look how cool that freaking is. Don't you want that for your house? You also need a gun safe. Uh, he came out talking about something different other than, uh, XRP today. He was basically talking about, uh, what is going on with, risk assets around the world and why we could possibly see five trillion dollars coming to the market but it's not all going to crypto so let's explain that so basically what he's saying is and you've probably heard this right like we've been telling you for a year move to cash move to cash cash is king cash is king it's going to be king again we're going to see inflation go back down when inflation goes back down you gotta invest um in the dollar because when inflation is going down the dollar is worth more well, what we've seen now is that even though Jerome Powell is coming out and saying, oh, hey, you know, like, uh, you know, we're going to keep raising rates. Well, they just undid in the last month half of all the quantitative tightening that they've done. Quantitative easing is money printing. Quantitative tightening is pulling the money supply back or at least keeping it the same. And, of course, when you're keeping it the same, the population grows. And when the population grows, obviously, that still kind of causes uh, or, or that that actually reverses uh, inflation. So the, the point is there's $5 trillion sitting on the sideline. So a lot of people are listening to this message about like, hey, we want to keep money in cash. We want money in cash. And so a lot of people, a lot of big investors did that. Well, now that they've started undoing the quantitative tightening, or excuse me, the quantitative, uh, yeah, and now we're moving back to quantitative easing as the Fed is moving stuff to their balance sheets. Uh, they're, they're doing a lot of stuff right now, uh, printing money. We just printed, um, what was it, $450 billion, I believe. About half a trillion dollars were just printed when they said they weren't going to print more money. And now it looks like some of these assets may be getting ready to come pouring back into crypto. Now, let's just do some math here and let's figure out, like, if $1 trillion comes into crypto, where is it going to go? Well, most of it's going to go to Bitcoin, obviously. A lot of it will go to Ethereum, and then probably XRP will get a lot as well. Cardano will get a lot as well. Polygon probably don't sleep on Polygon. A lot of these projects uh, are, are going to get a lot of this money. So let's just say the market cap basically doubled from where it is now. Where would that put Bitcoin? If the majority of that $1 trillion, let's just assume 20% of that $5 trillion on the sideline comes to crypto. Let's just say the majority of that were to go to Bitcoin, well, that would basically just about double the Bitcoin price. Uh, essentially, let's say, let's say six, well, let's say sixty percent of it went to Bitcoin. It wouldn't double the price, um, but it would basically go like let's just let's just call Bitcoin thirty k for you know issues and, giggle, and giggles. Uh, that would basically put Bitcoin right about fifty k. That's that's where I believe it would put Bitcoin at um, if the price were to uh, start started going up, it wouldn't necessarily double. It might be 45K, something like that. But here's what you have to remember. When all of this money would come flowing in to risk assets, what is it going to do once the Bitcoin price starts going up? It's going to invite more money. This is how pumps work. This is essentially the way that pumps work. I'm not telling you Bitcoin's going to hit a million dollars in 90 days. It's not going to happen. Don't, don't listen to people that are telling you that. Um, and if it did, hey, by all means, we want it to happen, right? So if it does happen, that's a win for all of us, but I, I don't see it happening. However, if you were to look at what is going on in, in the crypto market right now with, with the banks, you know, starting to collapse, I do think it is very possible that we're sitting at 40 to 50K over the summer. I think it's very possible. I'm not going to tell you it's going to happen. I'm not going to tell you it's probable. I'm going to say probably I think there's about a 30 to 40% chance that we come close to hitting 50K possibly over the summer. Something else to watch out for is the Bitcoin conference. So the Bitcoin conference pumps every single year. I'm going to be there, obviously. Me and TJ are going to be there. We're going to have whale pass. We're going to have about 10 staff members with us hanging out at the uh, at the Bitcoin Miami conference in May. Super excited about it. 
Um, you know, if, if you guys uh, have been watching the show, we got some discount codes. We're going to end up giving away two tickets to the Bitcoin conference, by the way. But the point is to say, it always pumps around that time. When is the Bitcoin conference? Well, I believe it's like right in the middle of May, like May 18th through the 21st. Target that day to look for some action. Last year, that was the end of the bull run. I mean, we were officially, I mean, technically it already ended before that. But when we got the pump leading into Bitcoin Miami and then the dump afterwards, it almost hit 50K, I believe. It may have hit 48, if I remember correctly. That was when we finally got shoved down permanently for the bear market. So the, the point being here is that there's a lot of potential for Bitcoin to do some running here in the, in the short term, in my opinion. Not to a million dollars, like everybody's out there saying, but it's going to go up. And this is one of the reasons you got all this money in cash sitting on the sidelines. I want to know when's that money coming in? And where's it going? Drop it down below in the comments. It's all got. Be blessed. Be blessed.